China's solar capacity expected to top 1 terawatt by 2026. China could lead the world to net zero. China, with an 18% share of the global population, uses 26% of the world's primary energy and emits 33% of the world's energy-related carbon dioxide. The energy transition unfolding in the country isn't merely a national affair as its ramifications echo globally. China currently finds itself in a transitional space in terms of its energy profile. It is by far the largest global consumer of coal, with more than 50% of worldwide consumption, yet it is also by far the leading installer of renewable energy generation capacity. This paradox currently places China behind affluent Western counterparts in terms of the renewable energy share of its primary energy consumption, energy that is directly available such as coal, crude oil, solar and wind. This will change because renewables are poised to massively supplant coal over the next three decades. This will help to elevate China to the top ranks of regions in terms of the non-fossil fuel share of its power mix. Before we proceed, we kindly ask you to support us by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and activating notifications to stay updated on our latest content. Remember, sharing is caring. China's central government sets energy policy direction and goals, and has the power to ensure that the party line is upheld, but it relies heavily on lower levels of government and local officials for implementation. The stability of the government arguably removes some uncertainty from a forecasting perspective. There remains, however, some uncertainty over the effectiveness of the future investment strategy of the state as it pivots from property and infrastructure spending towards support for higher value-adding manufacturing and consumption-led growth in consumer goods and services. Energy security is a key motivation for the Chinese energy transition, but in DNV's opinion, it will only be partly achieved. Balancing national energy security with social and economic imperatives, China pursues energy autonomy through energy conservation, source switching, and bolstering domestic energy capability. The power sector leads by substituting coal with domestically sourced renewables. Reliance on oil and gas imports will persist through 2050 and beyond, however. Accelerating the transition to net zero by 2050 with a greater emphasis on domestically produced renewables would further boost energy independence. China's energy usage is slated to peak in 2030 and is set to be followed by a remarkable 20% reduction by 2050 as a result of electrification and efficiency initiatives. This decline will also be related directly to demographic shifts, including a projected population decrease of 100 million people by mid-century. Of the 10 world regions in DNV's forecast, China currently ranks sixth in terms of electrification of demand, but it is projected to rise to second place, with electricity comprising 47% of final energy demand by 2050, surpassing Europe and North America, and trailing only the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development Pacific Area. Energy efficiency improvement is an important part of Chinese energy policy and the targeted decline in energy intensity, the ratio between energy supply and GDP, is evident. A 33% reduction to 3 megajoules per dollar is anticipated by 2035, further reducing to 2.2 megajoules per dollar by 2050. Legal frameworks such as the Energy Conservation Law and Renewable Energy Law fortify these endeavours, Sectoral analyses reveal a notable efficiency surge in buildings, where efficiency will more than double by 2050. The manufacturing sector exhibits gradual gains, and the transport sector anticipates a modest increase to 75% efficiency by 2050. China, already a leader in renewable energy sources, is on course for a more than five-fold increase in renewable energy installations by 2050. 
The share of renewables in total electricity generation in China will increase from 30% today to 55% by 2035 and 88% by 2050. By mid-century, solar and wind will each be generating around 38% of electricity. For solar, more than a third of the installed capacity will be combined with storage, mainly batteries. For wind, 77% of power will be provided by onshore installations, 20% will be delivered by fixed offshore sites, and 3% by floating offshore structures. Sustained cost reductions, due to learning effects, will be the main driver behind the projected increase in solar and wind. Of other non-fossil fuel sources, nuclear installations will double in absolute terms, but will remain small in relative terms producing only 5% of power in 2050. Leveraging cost reductions and sustained global exports, China is poised to assist the rest of the world in meeting its renewable energy targets, exporting solar panels and, most likely, also wind turbines to most parts of the world. In 2022, China emitted around 12 gigatons of carbon dioxide 33% of global energy and process-related carbon dioxide emissions. DNV finds reductions are well in line with China's dual carbon goals of reaching its carbon emissions peak before 2030 and becoming carbon neutral before 2060. DNV projects China's emissions will peak by 2026, followed by a 30% reduction by 2040. The emissions share will drop to 22% of the global total in 2050. Nevertheless, our outlook suggests a reduction of the global energy system's carbon intensity per unit of GDP of only 59%, whereas China aims to reduce carbon intensity to 65% of 2005 levels by 2030. Given the weight of China's contribution to global emissions, the timing and depth of China's emissions reductions are of immense global importance. Were China to follow a net zero by 2050 trajectory, outlined in a separate DNV publication, the pathway to net zero emissions, our calculations show that this could result in cumulative emissions of 113 gigatons of carbon dioxide less than in our main forecast, significantly aiding global efforts to achieve net zero by 2050. China's energy transition defies simple explanation. On the one hand, it is the world's largest consumer of fossil fuels and leading source of carbon dioxide emissions. Yet, China is also the country with such a vast renewable sector that politicians in Washington and Brussels have felt compelled to take action to protect their domestic green industries. National energy security is an overarching strategic goal at the center of Chinese policy. And whilst renewables are pushing some imported fossil fuels out of its energy mix, China will still rely on imported energy by the middle of the century. Although we forecast that oil consumption halves by 2050 from its 2027 peak, its use in petrochemicals and heavy transport, aviation and shipping, will linger and 84% of oil use will be met through imports. Natural gas consumption will remain high with 2050 consumption only 2% below 2022 levels and 58% of this being imported. The continued use of gas in power generation and buildings would be prime candidates for further replacement. Most of the coal in China is domestically produced, and in spite of its high emissions and local pollution, coal is by far the prime source of energy in China. As of last year, there were more than 200 new coal power plants under construction or permitted for. However, the build-out of renewables will eventually make coal uncompetitive and the government has already put in place legislation which will compensate the power plants as they switch to becoming a source of backup energy. We forecast coal use will peak in the next two years before falling by a third by 2040. China is sometimes depicted as having an insatiable need for energy 
But this is not accurate. By 2030, China's energy usage is slated to peak, followed by a remarkable 20% reduction by 2050 as a result of the increased use of electricity and widespread initiatives to improve energy efficiency. Electricity will meet 47% of energy demand by mid-century. This decline is also enabled by demographic shifts, including a projected 100 million population decrease. By 2050, wind and solar will each account for 38% of electricity generation in China. The speed of this build-out is remarkable considering that less than a decade ago, they barely registered as part of the energy mix. Not only is China the world's largest installer of solar plants and wind farms, they also produce panels and turbines which they sell cheaply to other countries, assisting in renewables build-out globally. However, this has made some governments uneasy, and the White House has already put a tariff on imports from China. We forecast China will be the first major economy where EV sales outstrip combustion engine vehicles, hitting this landmark in 2027. The remarkable efficiency gains enabled by electric vehicles means that even though the vehicle fleet will grow by 18% in China by 2050, and aviation, shipping and rail transport also will increase, the broader transport sector will be using less energy than today by the middle of the century. The fact that President Biden has already whacked a 100% import tax on Chinese made EVs is partly an acknowledgement of the head start Chinese EV manufacturers have on their American counterparts. China has put online a 5,000 megawatt solar power plant currently the largest photovoltaic facility on the planet. The solar park spans 200,000 hectares in the desert area of China's northwestern province of Xinjiang, not far from the region's capital, Urumqi, global news agencies reported. The plant's expected annual output is over 6,000 gigawatt hour, enough to supply entire countries such as Luxembourg or Papua New Guinea. The power plant was built by Power Construction Corporation of China, Power China. Before the new plant launched production, the two largest operating solar parks, according to Reuters, were also located in China, with a capacity of about 3 gigawatts each. One of them is Ningxia Tengali constructed by Longyuan Power Group, and the other is the Golmud Wutumeiren Solar Park, built by China Lufa Qinghai New Energy. Sparsely populated Xinjiang, rich in solar and wind energy resources, has become a hub for massive projects, the agency noted. The electricity produced in these power plants is sent to the faraway eastern regions of China. With the new record, China only continues to fortify its leading global position in the solar energy sector. According to Renewables 2023, the International Energy Agency's IEA annual report, the country's solar additions grew by 116% year on year. Solar power alone accounted for three quarters of renewable electricity capacity additions worldwide, while China commissioned as much photovoltaics as the entire world did in 2022, the report reads. The IEA said 2023 was the 22nd consecutive year in which a record was set for the growth of new green energy capacity. Record growth was also seen in Europe, the United States and Brazil, but China's acceleration was extraordinary. China plans to become climate neutral by 2060. Forecasts say that by 2050, the country could increase its renewables capacity fivefold and reduce its share of global carbon dioxide emissions from 33% to 22%. That concludes today's discussion. Please remember to like, comment, and share this content with fellow enthusiasts and relevant forums. Thank you and we eagerly anticipate your presence in our next episode.